Hey, Master Geo here with uh, the next part of my DVD Blu-ray collection. Uh, sorry that it's taken so long to post another one of these videos, but I have been really busy. That being said, there are other uh, posts on my site. I just haven't had the time to shoot one of these videos. But here we are, and before we get into the next batch of movies, I, there were two DVDs that I didn't get to show you on the last couple of videos. So let's do that now. The first off is uh, the uh, awesome remake to Black Christmas, which I'm a huge fan of, but the main reason I'm showing this is because of the autograph by the gorgeous Crystal Lowe. Uh, this I got at a chiller a couple of years ago. Uh, when I met her, she was really cool, and she had said that uh, she expected a lot of people to want Final Destination 3 stuff signed, but she was uh, pleasantly surprised when a lot of people coming up actually asking for stuff, uh, or bringing stuff, I should say, from Black Christmas for her. Um, I'm glad that the commun horror community is beginning to embrace this film. I think it's a awesome, fun, gory, kick-ass uh, sequel with hot chicks. <laughs> um, I uh, reviewed it a couple of years ago on my site. Go check that out. I get more in-depth to my thoughts. And the next one is an autograph, but I just wanted to show it to you because it's the uh, long out-of-print Dawn of the Dead from Anchor Bay, which has uh, all versions of Dawn of the Dead, which is like three versions of it, um, I believe. It's a massive uh, disc collection. Uh, let's see, there's four. Um, you know, I never got this on uh, Blu-ray, which is out of print now, anyway. The but the one the Blu-ray that they had only had the the uh, theatrical cut, which is great, and I'll watch it once in a while. But usually, I like to put in the longer cut. So until there's a Blu-ray that has uh, all versions, or at the very least, the longer cut. I will not be upgrading. Um, but, hey, this is my baby for now. Uh, you know, Dawn Dead is one of my most watched movies of all time. Uh, and it's a very special place in my heart. Anywho. So, we're going to get into the uh, next batch of uh, movies. Uh, we're going to be doing the letters J to, to N. So, join me as we uh, check out. There, it's a pretty... Uh, Big uh, selection of movies there. All right. See you soon. Hey. So we are now into the letter J. Um, there's only a couple of letter J's in my room, including this Jack Frost which with a lenticular cover. Ooh, cool, huh? Oh, there you go. Um, it's, uh, put out by Vinegar Syndrome, um, I picked it up last year, I believe, at, uh, Chiller. It's a really good release, um, as all Vinegar Syndrome, uh, Blu-rays are. Um, we, the Jaws I have here is, I believe, this one with the slipcovers out of print. This is, uh... The 100th Anniversary Universal Studios Edition. I uh, actually think I picked this up day of release. I was pumped on Jaws on Blu-ray. Alright, we'll be r r jumping into the next section, but to th for that, we're going to have to go to my office. So, hold on. Okay, so, last we saw Jaws, here's Jaws 2. I don't have the other two, because quite honestly, they're not good films, especially Jaws 4. I've been on and off playing with the of getting Jaws 3 only because it was the first horror movie I ever saw in the theater, so... I don't know. Maybe someday? Eh, I'm in no rush. It does have Leia Thompson in it, though, and... Damn, that's worth a lot. <laughs> I mean, that's... Well, you get it. You get what I'm trying to say? Um, remember how I said that uh, Hard Boiled is the greatest action film ever made? Well... Here would be the second greatest action film ever made, uh, from John Woo as well, The Killer. I actually won that copy of Kill Your Friends online, it's a okay flick. Um, Huge Kill Switch Engage fan, by the way. I've seen them twice, and um, once as a fan, once uh, doing press. Uh, 
one of my all-time favorite bands. Um, King Kong, the original, I would like to upgrade to Blu-ray sooner than later. <laughs> mm. Lady Vengeance is a phenomenal film. Um, it's not necessarily my favorite of the uh, Revenge trilogy, but it's the one I watch the most. Land of the Dead is another film I need to upgrade to the Blu-ray. This I just picked, this I just uh, got for Christmas. It's Arrow's phenomenal Last House on the Left release, which comes with the Blu-ray, book, and a two-sided poster. Uh, Last House on the Left is, I think, one of Wes Craven's best films. Um, it's been a long-time favorite of mine. And um, it always brings back memories because I actually saw it for the first time when I rented it with uh, my grandpa, who actually ended up liking this film. I only recently got uh, the uh, Lethal Weapons on Blu-ray uh, when uh, FYU was closing. Again, you know, I got the chance of picking it up. Um, been wanting to own them on Blu-ray forever. Um, this Life Force... Interestingly enough, there's this, um, before this, of course, there's, there was a Life Force with a slipcover. This is Life Force without a slipcover, which I'm guessing is worth, is goes for less than the one with the slipcover. But nonetheless, I've seen this one go for like $60. I believe it's because uh, any Life Force with a regular uh, um Blu-ray case is out of print. Uh, you know, Scream Factory re-released re re it as um, a steel cover, which is the way to get it now, so... Just kind of cool to, to think about that. Um, now, I've been meaning to, on and off, to upgrade my Lord of the Rings DVDs to Blu-ray, uh, because I would imagine the quality is magnificent. Uh, only held off a bit because I don't watch the Lord of the Rings that film that many times, but I kind of want the upgrade and I would like to, you know, save some space. Less for, the, for Dracula, another uh, movie that I have signed by uh, the Girls of Seduction Cinema. This one, Darian Kane and uh, Aaron Brown. So now we go into the next section. Uh, you can see my Mad Max section here, uh, collection. If you're saying, well, where's Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome? I hate that film, and so I have zero desire of ever owning it. Sorry and no offense to any fans of it. You will see, uh, oh, I'm just to point out Mandy, which was my favorite film of last year. If you haven't seen it yet, come on, man. You should have already. Uh, Maniac which I am planning on upgrading to a Blu-ray. Uh, my copy is autographed by William Lustig, who misspelled my name, sorry. <laughs> it's double N. And Tom Savini. Moving along. I have a couple of the Masters of Horror. Um, I kind of wish I'd picked up more one of these days. Funny story about the Manson family, um, that I actually got at uh, someone's backyard sale, so for those people who say, well, you're never going to find anything like cool or cultish, like, you know, cult horror or splatter at a uh, backyard sale, um, boom, right there, man. <laughs> so it's a pretty good flick. Um, May is another one I wanted to show, up, show because... It's signed by uh, the lovely Angela Bettis. She did this at a chiller, which I believe was the, la the last convention, or at least one of the last conventions she ever did. Sucks she doesn't do them anymore. A lot. She's really worth meeting. She's a sweetheart. Uh, a, a, an absolute sweetheart. 
Um, you don't know how happy I am that they've declared that Meet the Feebles and, you know, the rest of uh, Peter Jackson's work will be on Blu-ray, especially Meet the Feebles, because, good God, that DVD has awful quality. I mean, it's fucking shit. Uh, as before, why do I have monkey signs both on DVD and Blu-ray? It's because the DVD is autographed by Tom Savini. I, I guess at this point you're realizing that I have a lot of Tom Savini autographs. And I kind of sort of do. Uh, love the fact that I have both Mother's Days. Uh, I love both of those movies. Uh, but I give the slight advantage to the remake. <clears throat> Alright. So, here we got Mr. Skin's uh, Women in Prison uh, triple feature. Um, I'm a big fan of exploitation films. And uh, Women in Prison movies were some of my favorites. Um, Red Heat is great, and Chain Heat is even better. These are two of the best women in prison films ever made. And Jungle Warriors is, uh, best forgotten. Ms. 45, to me, is the best of all the rape-revenge horror movies. This is, um, awesome release. Uh, I had been wanting to get this Blu-ray forever. When I finally did, I was... Happy, beyond fucking happy. I believe I got that with a gift card that, I, that, one, that one of my closest friends uh, got me for my birthday. Speaking of gifts from friends, that's how I got the, the mummy. Let's move Scarface down here. Um, over the years, uh, I've learned to love that the Universal Mummy more and more. Uh, the sequels are... Well, they're alright. Uh, the last one's kind of bad, though. Uh, in sort of the same vein as the Mr. Skin uh, Women in Prison is this uh, uh, Nazi uh, exploitation uh, collection. Um, movies are actually a lot more of a miss on this one. But um, the trailer collection... And um, the first film uh, are pr and that set are pretty good, and everything else is eh. Okay, hold on. And speaking of out of print, here is Catherine Bigelow's superlative Near Dark, which is one of my all-time favorite vampire movies. There, uh, the is not available on Blu-ray anymore. I missed when it was, but I heard that that release wasn't that great. And to be honest, I hated that fucking cover, which is a big reason why I never picked that up. Zorg Butchegit's Necromantic. Um, you know, keeping in theme with uh, exploitation and hardcore horror. I um, got this one autographed by Zorg Butchegit himself at a... Chiller, he was a very nice guy. Um, it was cool to get that sign, but I must say, and personally speaking, I've always been more of a fan of Necromantic 2. Uh, I love Monica M, and she's actually on my uh, horror crushes um, over at my website, which you should totally look at because I love her and she rules. <laughs> speaking of, I love her and she rules. The gorgeous Isaac Anderson. If you've never seen Night Angel, I highly recommend it. It's a fun, sexy, gory, little demon, uh, 80, uh, early 90s erotic horror film. Um, Nightmare Man. I picked up at the Chiller where the gorgeous Tiffany Shepp is signed for me. Tiffany is so awesome. Um, total babe, total sweetheart. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street, my DVD. I, this version is out of print because it had with the slip cover. Um, in fact, you know, Amanda, the lovely Amanda Weiss who signed it for me, has told me that she'd never <clears throat> seen it like this before. Uh, so you know, it's very cool to have that version of a Nightmare on Elm Street signed. And now we'll get to the other night, another Nightmare on Elm Street that signed, Part Five by the gorgeous Erica Anderson. This was at. Um, Saturday Nightmare is a convention that is no longer held. Um, it was a fun little convention. Sucks that it doesn't exist anymore. Let us move Deadpool over. And I'll show you the last Nightmare I'll show you that I have autographed. It is the box set. 
the Blu-ray box set to be exact. This one is signed by the lovely Tuesday Night, who played Kristen in Nightmare on Street 4. I got that signed at last year at Monster Mania. Total sweetheart. Um, she also sings the um, uh, first song on the sound on the uh, that that's at the beginning of Nightmare on Street 4. I always like that song. Um, Night of the Lepus is the perfect movie because soon it'll be Easter and it's a movie about giant killer bunnies. Very silly. Uh, total It's So Bad So Good film. Uh, um, cool that Scream Factory released that one. Um, I picked it up when FYE was closing. Uh, reason I have Night of the Living Dead on DVD? No, it's not because it's autographed. I picked it up because it's the only way to get uh, Night of the Living Bread. Uh, unfortunately, the Criterion Blu-ray does not have Night of the Living Bread, but it's a phenomenal Blu-ray and one of the best releases of last year. Night of the Living Dead is one of my absolute film favorite films of all time i adore that film um there is uh screen factory did another we've released ninja 3 with more extra features this is the first release of it that they did um i'm fine with just this one it's cool i don't really need it and the last film on our visit this time around will be nurse 3d which i reviewed back when i used to work for best uh, horror movies um now horror freaks um i like this one i think it's sexy i think it's fun um uh, yeah all right yeah Paz vasquez looks great in that film um as does the blonde um okay so we end it here and when we next we uh pick up we'll be into the letter o all righty then bye